now time for Made in Austin, where we feature Austin grown businesses. Take a look at this picture. This was back in 2013. What started as a lemonade stand is now a growing business. We introduced you to Michaela Omer years ago. At four years old, she created a lemonade company. And since then, she's met former President Barack Obama, got an investment on Shark Tank, and even got a deal with Whole Foods. Now at 15, her all natural lemonade is expanding into H E B stores. So let's welcome Michaela. She is on. Hello. Can you believe so? She, Michaela doesn't remember when she met me. That picture that we showed you <laughs> earlier was years. Clearly, I had blonde hair. We both were, looked very different. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you got an idea to start a lemonade company. Tell us how this all started. Sure. So it started when I was four and a half years old. I signed up in Lemonade Day, the business fair, and over the summer when I was trying to figure out what product I was going to create, I got sung by two bees and I got a cookbook from my great granny Helen. And so doing some research on them, I found out that there are important pollinators and that they're dying at an alarming rate. So I was like, okay, what if I take that recipe and sweeten it with honey and that could be my business for the fair. So that was the first time I ever sold my product and even though my mission has always been to save the bees, it's still that today, and that's kind of what the reason why we've grown to the size we are. Yeah, you have had a business that grew really quickly, and yes. I think it's really significant because yeah. you were so young. Exactly. What was the biggest challenge you faced in starting a business at that age? So, yes, since we started, we've grown 500%. And for me, the biggest challenge was, one, was a kid. It's A lot of the times it's easy to underestimate a kid when they're trying to pitch you to invest in their company so that was one of the biggest problems and uh, another biggest problem was how fast we were growing finding a co-packer to to produce the lemonade while we were growing at such a fast rate meant we were changing all the time. Yeah, and I, I'd like to point out that your parents really were super supportive yes. Uh, yes. With, with this whole process, mm -hmm. right? I go to school every day, still have to do chores, so it's important <laughs> that there's someone to help me with my company. And our team has increased from it being just a family-run company to having a sales team, an ops team, um, someone to help us with our marketing. So that's really great to see how we've grown. Yeah, and you guys, tell me what makes your lemonade so special yes so it is a um, homegrown in Austin brand it, it started here and Austin is still one of like my favorite cities it's great for starting company so it's homegrown in Austin it's buy a bottle save a bee so our mission has been to help save the bees to encourage entrepreneurship it's made in a hundred percent recyclable glass bottling so it's an eco-friendly product and it's just a product that's made with love I have always this has been my passion since I was four and I'm really excited how it's grown and um, how more people are enjoying the product. And now what's really exciting is you can get it in yes. H-E-B, which yes. is awesome. You just signed a deal with H-E-B. Yep. Tell us about so that. So we are deepening our roots into Texas, and I'm super excited to announce that we've launched into 350 of the H-E-Bs here in Texas. So they're in like the little coolers at the checkout counter. So yep. right when you um, purchase, right when you're checking out, you can grab the bottle. <laughs> yes, and you have all kinds of flavors. I remember yes. when you started with just one lemonade. Mm -hmm. Tell me about all these new flavors. So the mint was our first flavor. Now we are introducing the classic flavor, which is very similar to my great granny Helen's recipe. And so it's kind of like an original classic flavor. That's the flavor that's going to be sold in H-E-B. And uh, let us know what you think. We have social media at Michaela's Bees. We take votes and polls. So please let us know. And you also have lip balm. Mm -hmm. You've got um, pencils. pencils, yeah. But these of, aren't normal pencils. Yes. Tell us about these pencils real quick. So instead of a regular pencil stub, there are actually seeds in here. And so what's special is that it's a bee-friendly flower. So our nonprofit is the Healthy High Foundation. And so through the Healthy High Foundation, we're saving the bees through research, education, and preservation. So this is one of the ways that we're doing so. We've been giving these out to different events that I attend and presentations that I do. Really so, neat. Yeah. Really neat, fantastic product. Michaela, thank you so much for joining thank us you. this morning. We appreciate it. If you guys missed any of this interview, you can go to kview.com after the newscast. It'll be uploaded. Give them the website. Oh, it's meandthebees.com. Meandthebees.com. Yes. And don't forget to grab some lemonade as you're checking out at H-E-B. Mm -hmm. Nathan? <laughs>